Okay, um, in this sketch of the video, we're going to look at uh, working on um, rulers. We're going to look at work on working on copying and pasting. And basically, uh, this is a Roman house project that Year 5 were doing. And I'm going to go through how we did the basic structure of the house, although I'm not going to complete it. That's something people can do themselves. So we're into Sketch and Make. We're using the template. And for this one, I'm using the 3D printing template because the children were designing this with a view to uh, printing them out on a 3D printer. If you're using a different uh, template, this same instruction should work. I'm going to go to Start. I'm going to wait a second while it loads up. OK. Now, once we're in SketchUp, we should get the 3D modeling box appearing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the scroll button to move myself closer to the box. I'm going to use the rotate tool so I can rotate myself um, in a position where I can see it. And I'm going to use the hand tool to position it a little bit so I can see the base. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to make a very simple Roman building. Um, so I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle for the base. I'm going to extrude that slightly up so we've got a, uh, a base. Now, the big thing I'm looking at doing here is putting some pillars in. And to do that, I'm going to change this tool from being the rectangle to being the circle. And I'm going to draw a small circle or be a pillar. I'm not too worried about the position because I can now select that one, double click it so we can see the highlights around, and use the move tool to move it into the position I want. I'm now going to use the ruler and take it from the edge of the shape across to the edge here. And that's going to produce a line on which I want to put my other columns. I'm going to go back to select here, make sure this is selected. I'm going to hold Control C or on a Mac, Command C, and then I'm going to do Control V. And what I get now is my second circle. I'm going to do this again. I'm trying to paste these evenly out. Now, you might have to reposition these in the middle if you get to the end. If you've been a little bit more organized than me, you might have worked out how many there should be. OK. So that should work. Right. OK. Now, if I wanted to go the other way, I could now put another ruler on, run it from the edge of this one, run it down to here. Again, I can rotate my view around a little bit. I've still selected these, so I'm going to carry on with that. I'm going to go uh, Control V again. And I'm going to paste a few more of these down here. And I might want, as part of a kind of Roman temple or something, to go. Let's just change the view to make it a bit easier. Um, to go all the way around, or I might want to um, just have it on a couple of sides. OK. Let's just reposition this a little bit. and make that a little bit easier. OK, Control v again. We're going to paste a few more of these in. See the spacing is not perfect, so I might need to go through and adjust these a little bit in a minute. Could now reposition these a little bit so we've got a slightly better spacing. Using the select tool to select them, double clicking them, and then using the move tool to space them out. I could use some uh, lines to give it a little bit more accuracy. Once I've got the, all of the circles pretty much where I want them, 
then I can start to bring them up. Now, if I was going to continue this at the other side, I would now go back to the ruler and I take a ruler line from each of these across so that when I put the pillars on the other side, they all lined up with this and with this. And what we can then start to get is kind of a grid happening um, in which we can put all of the blocks we want. And it therefore should become fairly accurate. But for what for the purpose of this video, I just want the columns on two sides. I've put the circles in first because those are easiest. Then I'm going to go to the extrude option. Let's look at this. Then I'm going to go to the extrude option and I can start to bring my first column up. Now, if I bring my view around a little bit, I can see where I've got my column two. I'm happy with that. That's fine. If not, I can bring it a little bit further up. And again, I can use the ruler tool here. So I can use the ruler to kind of set a top height that I want these to go to. So you can see this is where I want them all to go to. And then as I go across my columns, I've now got a line to bring these to. So they should now all be coming up to the same height. Okay, turn it around, move away a little bit. And again, we can do the same thing on this side. So again, we can take a ruler from the edge, bring it across. And whilst it might take a few minutes to do this, it definitely speeds up the, uh, the overall process. So we're not just trying to look at by line of sight. Possibly put these pillars a little bit close. If this is actually a Roman temple, I'm not actually sure you'd be able to get into it. But the view is starting to look uh, look right. Okay. Now, once I've got these in place, the next thing I'm going to need to do is start to put a roof on this. And number of ways I can do this. I could have produced the base and moved it up. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to produce a rectangle. So I'm going to pull it across at about this height. I'm going to rotate it around again. I'll probably find it's not where I expect it. That's not too bad actually. And then I'm going to extrude that rectangle back along the top here. So that's now going to be the bait, um, the top section of my Roman temple. I'm going to rotate back to the front again make sure I'm pretty much straight on. And this time I'm going to go to the line option. There we go. And actually click on it. I'm going to go from the edge to kind of a shallow point in the middle. I'm trying to be careful not to click on any of the edges here and then back down to there. And what I should now get is a face. If I click on the back, it will become kind of gray and it will go sloping back towards that. And that happens quite a bit. But once you've got the hang of it, it's not too bad. And now I can extrude this along to here. Okay, so what we started to get here now, if I just have a quick look around, we've got um, a sloping roof, we've got the top section of this, we've got a base, and we've got pillars on two sides. And I, this is starting for me to take the shape of a, what a Roman temple might look like. I can then within this start to draw um, kind of the main building bit. Again, I can extrude that up, and we're starting to take shape here. And again, it doesn't matter too much if this actually embeds into here, okay? As long as when we look around, we've got the, uh, the shape we're after. The next part of the project for the year five will be to complete these ones and then put them into the 3D printer and we'll print them out, and hopefully I'll be able to put some of the finished ones on here to show you. Um, but the purpose I'm trying to show here is the importance of using the rulers, and the importance of copying and pasting while we're still in the flat shape before we make it into a 3D shape.